Hello everyone. In today's explain why series, we are going to understand a concept that is why the alveoli does not collapse even during forceful expiration. Suppose if you are trying to do forceful expiration and trying to blow out all the air from your lung, still some amount cannot be exhaled out of the lung. And all of us know what is this volume? This volume is nothing but the residual volume. But today I will explain you why we are not able to take out this residual volume out of the lungs and what is the reason behind it. The reason behind it is because of a simple concept which is called as a dynamic compression of the airways. So I will explain you what is this dynamic compression of the airways. So let's try to imagine suppose this is the entire alveolar system and it has a pathway through which it is being exhaled and it is contained in the alveolar chamber and surrounding the pleura and the chest cavity and everything. So what happens when you do a forceful expression? Whenever we are trying to do a forceful expression, what happens is the air from the alveolar part is trying to come out of the lung and slowly it is coming out. And when you are doing a forceful expression, at the same time, the pressure is not only on the alveoli. Where is the pressure will be there? The intrathoracic pressure will be applied on the conducting pathway also. So the intrathoracic pressure is being applied here also. So what happens is at a particular point of time, there is something called as the equal pressure point time. That is called as equal pressure point. So when this equal pressure point happens, what is going to happen? The air which is coming out is not going to come out further and it is going to get trapped inside the alveoli. So as you can see here, the caliber over this region is less in comparison to that of the entire alveoli. So by the time most of the air is escaping, what happens is the intrathoracic pressure is higher and it will create a pressure point which is equal to that of the pathway and it will obstruct this area which will lead on to some of the trapping of air inside the alveoli which is creating the residual volume. So this phenomenon is called as the dynamic compression of the airways. And why is this helpful? This is helpful because whenever the alveoli is collapsed, it becomes very, very difficult to open up the alveoli. All of us have done this when the newborn is born. It used to cry and create a positive pressure and then open its alveoli. Think of yourself that suppose if you don't have this positive pressure, what is going to happen? Every For every breath, we have to cry out loud, which is not feasible and which is not happening also because this residual volume helps to open up the alveoli easily whenever we take in an inspiration again. It is not getting completely collapsed. So this phenomenon is called as the dynamic compression of airways. Why it is happening? As I told you, there is an increased intrathoracic pressure. Intrathoracic pressure is increasing and whenever it is meeting the equal pressure point, it is going to compress the airways dynamically and it is going to preserve some volume and that is volume is called as the residual volume. I hope it's clear. Thank you for watching the video. We'll see in the next video.